Ever since Arturio released the V Collection 8.1, setting up macros for any of the instruments contained in the V Collection is incredibly easy and extremely powerful. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. To get to the macro, you want to come to the top right of any of the instruments and hit the cog wheel. From there, there's the macro tab, and you'll have four macro controls here. As of 8.1, there's now a learn feature. All I need to do is click that and then come down to the perimeter I want to map to the macro. So on my effects 4, I have a delay, and I've chosen the dry wet, and that's reflected right here. If I hit learn again, I can then set my reverb there. And easily I can come in and set my minimum and max values. So for my delay, I'm going to put in 0.25. And for my convolution reverb, I'm going to put 0.35. And now as I move my macro control over at zero, you'll see that the dry wets of both of those effects are at zero. And if I move it up to one, you'll see that this is 0.35 and this is 0.25. Now there's an added feature here, which really pushes the macro controls into a new territory. And that is I can put multiple points here. So perhaps when my macro is at zero, I want there to be a little bit of delay. And then when my macro is around halfway up, I want that delay to go off. And if you pay attention to the dry wet knob of the delay, you'll see it reflected there. This is a really cool and unique way. And as you can see I can put multiple points in here and I can do the same with the convolution reverb as well. So perhaps at lower values I want it to really kind of lag before it really shoots up at higher values to the full potential or the 0.35 that I have there. As I said, that feature is available for all instruments contained in the V Collection as of 8.1. I highly suggest checking it out because all of the instruments are incredible and this new feature just makes them that much more powerful. Mm -hmm.